In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can convert and calculate time in Excel for different time zones for different parts of the world. So as my baseline, I'm going to use London and I'm going to convert the time, the equivalent time for New York, Sydney and Tokyo. So for London, the, the GMT is just zero Greenwich time. So I'm using starting point as 12 a.m. midnight and what I'm going to do is enter the, the GMT values for these different parts of the world. So New York is five hours behind, so minus five. Sydney is 11 hours ahead, so plus 11. Tokyo, nine hours ahead. And so now what I'm going to do is calculate my GMT adjustment. And what this basically tells me is how many hours I need to add to this value, to this time, to get to here. So obviously I can subtract five, but uh, what I'm going to do is because I don't need to factor in um, for days, I'm just looking strictly at hours, I can adjust this to a positive adjustment. So to think about another way, you know, if you're deducting five hours, you'll, you'll, that's the same as if you're adding, you know, uh, 19 hours, going 19 hours forward. So what I'm going to do for this GMT adjustment is say, okay, if this value minus this value is less than zero, which it is, then what I'm going to do is take that value, that minus that, and add 24 hours. So 24 hours plus, um, 24 hours minus five hours is plus 19. That's why I say whether you add 19 hours or you subtract five, you'll get to the same result. And for the purpose of making this formula simple, since I'm really just looking at the, the sheer time and not factoring in the, the day, I can I can do this and force it into a positive adjustment. So if it's not a negative, then I'll just take this value, subtract this value. And the one thing I'll do here is now freeze uh, B3, which is my starting point, my baseline. And so that's where I get my 19 hour adjustment. If I copy this down for Sydney and Tokyo, it's just 11 and nine because these are values aren't negative. So this is really just for the sake of adjusting for if these values are negative. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do now is actually calculate that time. And so to do that, I'm gonna take my starting time, I'll freeze that, and I'm gonna use the time value function in Excel. And what this allows me to do is, as you can see, you can put a time text value in here. So rather than hard coding this, I'm gonna use I'm going to reference my GMT adjustment, so I've got that 19 hours reference there. I'm going to use the ampersand, and in quotes, put colon zero zero. So this would be the same as if I, write, I was writing 1900 hours. So I'm going to close that, and now it'll tell me that you know five hours back from 12 of 12 o'clock midnight is 7 p.m., which is correct, right? So this, if I go to formula, evaluate formula, you can see it takes zero because midnight is zero no time has elapsed at that point from the start of the day and we're taking 19 and that colon zero zero so we see 1900 hours time value puts us at 7 p.m so if i were to change this to let's say five o'clock in the morning you know then that, that puts new york at at midnight and this time this value changes to 0.2 because now it's no longer at midnight, it's no longer at zero. Still does the same adjustment, but now factors in for this, this new time. So I copy this down here and you know, same sort of thing. For Sydney, it'll be four o'clock, Tokyo, two o'clock. So with this formula, you can easily adjust this based on the different times. And because we've got these GMT adjustment amounts in here, it's easy to, to calculate this. now. Obviously, you could incorporate this into one larger formula, but for the purpose of trying to make this a lot easier to explain, I, I broke it up into having separate parts here. One being this, this adjustment for the GMT and one for the actual time, just to show you that it's really the, the time value function that's important. So two pieces to remember from this is one, just factoring that in, that adjustment. If you aren't worried about um, the day and just really are looking at the time, then it's a lot easier to just convert this into a positive number and then you're just adding the time and in this case you're just using the time value function to concatenate that adjustment along with uh, the colon zero zero afterwards so that way it reads into a, a time string that it can easily convert into a time value 
add that to your starting point and then return the time for these different parts of the world. So hope that wasn't too complicated. Hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.